Hey guys, welcome to Disco's Tech Corner. Thanks for tuning in. So in this episode, we're going to look at the new capture card by Elgato, the 4K 60S Plus. Well, personally, I think it looks great. I think it's a very cool product. Elgato never lets us down when it comes to terms of the looks of their products. They've always been stable, well-built, software's great. That's always the positives of Elgato. With this, it's a different kind of ball game. The most important element of this card is you don't even require to have a PC. To use it, which is very beneficial to a lot of people. One, do you know how? Do you know the specs that you would need just to build something that could record at 4K 60 frames a second, especially having the HDR10 support? It would cost you much more than this product. But with this product, there is a downside. The price tag is fairly steep, but around £400. So between £380 to £400, you'll get this product. It's no for the faint of heart there is much cheaper options. So this is the first standalone, like, out external capture card that does the 4K from Elgato. It is a lot more expensive than we would normally want from their products. Before you get in the box, you can understand why. This product, you don't even need to require a PC. It will record at 4K 60 FPS, HDR10, and you can just live record it. Using the new encoder, as it's using the HEVC chip, and what that means is that you can record up to seven hours of 4K 60 FPS full HDR on 256 gig. That is phenomenal. That is amazing. Pretty much good to go. You don't get the SD card. You do have to buy that separate, but you can get up to a terabyte. So that's gives that's like 30 hours of fucking recording that you're going to manage on this just for a terabyte SD card. So that's phenomenal. And you're able to encode it using your things like your iPads and your your tablets. It's much more suited to Apple, but you can still do it. You can know you've got your full creative studio with this and your tablet. You know, it's 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 saving you money in the long run if you're starting off from scratch. For even more advanced streamers and content creators, this is still a benefit to you since you're able to instead of putting all that money into upgrading your PC, you can just get this and that's you ready to go. And that will be that will be future proof for years to come. Another benefit of the product is it's true pass through, zero lag pass through. That is another benefit of it. You know, you're not wanting any kind of lag for you pushing that trigger to the bullet hitting, zero lag. It offers absolutely zero lag and that is a must now. And then even if you're not wanting to use it on its own, you know, it's just records at the push of a button. But even if you want to still sit at the desk, it's taking all that pressure off your CPU anyway, and just still able to use all the functions that you would probably you would normally have for your HD 60s and such. Still use the chat cable to put in your audio. I think this has a real area in the market right now. Another, I would say another positive, but kind of can be a downer, is this is pretty much the only option you've got now today 4K pass through that isn't taking up a PCIe slot in your computer. A lot of people might, or some people don't have the spare PCIe slot that's getting taken up by their GPU. The internal cards are now the best option for everyone. So this is pretty much the only option you've got now from Elgato to play like your future proof in your PlayStation 5 and your Series X. Especially now with the, uh, the Xbox dropping any kind of streaming as of the 22nd of July, you need to, you'll, you'll need something like this to capture or, or continue on your stream. And if you're not wanting to lose that 4K experience, Pretty much this is your only Elgato option that we've got. It still runs perfectly with things like OBS and you know you can stream to Twitch and YouTube, everything like that still works. It's just like a capture card, it's just that bit more expensive because you can record the full 4K. We're going to have a little look at the, the downside of it. If you've got a if you've got an Xbox One X, you can record up to an hour of 4K with an, an external USB. That is something why I wouldn't buy this product and I've not bought this product as of yet because I have a, a Ripsaw HD. I, I, I don't need to. A lot of the people, especially like Twitch, if you can't upload 4K, you can't stream at 4K, and a lot of services providing internet can't even get access to 4K streaming. So the price tag is too high for that element, especially if you can get something that's a third of the price, which is like the Razer Rips, the Ripsaw HD. It's the only other kind of comparison that I can put with capture cards. There is like Aver Media and that, but they're just fucking bullshit. I would never, never go with Aver Media. The Razer Ripsaw HD is probably still the option I would go for. Still, like I say, £140. 
it'll pass through the 4K, so you're not losing anything with your PlayStation 5 or your Series X, but you're still streaming and recording at 1080p, 60fps. But as products go all around, I think this product's great and it's got a perfect place. It may be something I pick up later on, depending on how the Series X goes. It may be something that I do get in the future. I don't know how Series X is going to be when it comes to recording at 4K or what streaming platforms could be. Xbox is kind of in a weird place now with that. With PlayStation 4, your best you're going to get is 720p recordings, or on the Pro, it's going to be 1080p. But you've still got those options to record your gameplay. They're going to be fine for places like YouTube and streaming because a lot of people don't stream in 4K anyway. So. There is only a tiny for a niche and it is a nice price tag to pay. So it's really up to you guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you've got anything else that you want to put in, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!